something attractive about these married men. There's something attractive about these married men and this is the inscription of a temptress. She says to me, there's something attractive about these married men. The way his ring finger is occupied by that ring. It is subtle, it doesn't bling, it is plain so that you can't see it when he puts his hand inside his pocket to take out that something like money so he gives it to you and he entices you, takes you to that hotel room because baby girl, there's something attractive about these married men. It's in the way his tie is tied around his neck by his wife in the morning and you, the temptress, will be the one yearning to take it out at the end of the day because a dog unleashed is a dog for the bitch because there's something attractive about these married men. It's in how he tells you to keep quiet when he has to respond to his wife talking about a late night meeting when it's actually late night eating. Because there's something attractive about these married men. The fact that he has kids but still wants to date his. Shuffle inside of your ground making sure that you are dismissed for the next nigga that would want to marry you. And you will never last multiple rounds. Because these married men are greedy. These married men want more. These married men never stop. These married men leave their wives at the corner store. And then they take that stone that was rejected by the builder once more. And then he pours. And then he holds you. He is inside your pores. He is inside your skin. You smell of him. Bitch, you reek of ruining a home. But there is something attractive about this married man. It's in the way his wife prays for him. He walks with the presence and anointing of the Lord. So why? Why would a girl that is sitting at the back of the rows in church not want to scream amen once more? Because there's something attractive about these married men. It's in the way he drives his lavish car with a baby on board stick her. But there is no baby in there. So you decide to get inside, slide in them DMs of that married man because there's something attractive about this married man. It's in the way his car smells of the kids' lunch boxes after he dropped off his kids to take you for a spin. Ooh, baby girl, you gon' sin again with this married man because there's something attractive about this married man. It's in the way he will muff you and take those same lips and put them at the dinner table, ask his wife to pass him the salt when he has released the salt, when his wife is dying of salt, when he doesn't want any more, and it's not her fault because there's something attractive about this married man. They've got this thing. <laughs> They've got the song about them that makes temptresses sing. They've got this thing. They've got this thing. There's something attractive about those married men. It's the experience that they ooze. There's something attractive about those married men. But the attractiveness will always end. When he decides to say, I don't want you anymore, I'm going back to my house, I want to build my daughter a beautiful home. That's when you become spiteful, want to kill the wife too. You want to do the things that will make him wife you, forgetting that once there's another wife, there will have to be a new mistress. That there is something attractive about these married men. And it's a disease. <laughs>